हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस लेक्चर विल टॉक अबाउट द क्लिनिकल एनाटमी और क्लिनिकल इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ द श्वास फेशिया एंड व्हाई देर इज अ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द एप्सिस इन द श्वास मसल नाउ व्हेन यू विल हैव दिस श्वास फेशिया देर आर टू क्वेश्चन अराइजेज वेरी कॉमनली इन योर एग्जाम दैट व्हाई द श्वास मसल शीथ और द श्वास फेशिया इज हैविंग द स्पेशल इंपॉर्टेंस बिकॉज जनरली वेन यू आर हैविंग द फेशियाज अराउंड द मसल you don't have questions on uh, those fascias in your exam but you have this question that why swas muscle sheath or the swas fascia is of greater importance than any other fascia then you should talk about this second question is that why the swas muscle abscess appear in the front of thigh so when we'll see the answer of this second question that why swas abscess appears in the femoral triangle in front of thigh you should go and find out the answer of this question first why this fascia is important so let's talk about the uh, fascia around the swas muscle so when you will see the swas muscle fascia the swas muscle and its sheath arise not only from the lumbar vertebra but they also arises from the intervertebral disc between each vertebrae so i already explained the origin of your swas muscle in my class of the swas now if you see this image here you can see the origin that here what you will find that this is your area of intervertebral disc now in this area of intervertebral disc you will find the attachment of the slip of swas muscle so this slip of the swas muscle is taking origin from the adjacent vertebrae and from this area of intervertebral disc so you have to understand this line that the origin of the swas muscle is not only from the bodies but from the intervertebral disc now this disc origin is of critical importance now that's why the fascia or the origin of the muscle is also become important because this origin is very critical importance because in certain type of the infections there is a intervertebral affection most of the time for like tuberculosis salmonella discitis in such infections when there is involvement of intervertebral disc the origin of the fibers and attachment of the sheath to the intervertebral disc is become critically important so the infection passes into the swas muscle why because the muscle is having direct attachment on the disc and this is spread within the muscle and within the sheath and this sheath is actually having all around connections so it prevent the infection to spread into the abdomen and that infection is limited into the swas muscle and its tubular sheath so this is the question which you have to always keep in mind that why the swas muscle sheath is having extra importance the only answer is because the sheath and the muscle are having the critical origin from the intervertebral disc and the intervertebral disc are involved in some diseases where the formation of the pus or the infection will come out into the muscle but the surrounding sheath prevent the spread of this infection into the whole abdominal cavity so what is the swas fascia then the question comes is why the spread is limited so for that you have to understand the attachment of the swas fascia so when you will see the attachment of the swas fascia you will find the superior attachment you will find medial attachment lateral attachment and inferior attachment that means it is closed from all around so when you will see the shape of the fascia it is a tubular in nature so it is a tube and this tube is having the elongated arrangement now here you can see this green color hollow pipe in this side you can see the muscle is there in this side we have removed the muscle and you can see only the outer covering and that is the outer covering of your sheath now here if you will see the superior attachment you have to understand that superiorly the fascia is attached at two place one is the periosteum of the vertebrae first is it merge with the periosteum of your thoracic vertebrae and the second thing is anteriorly this fascia will be 
thick and this thickening is known as medial arcuate ligament. So this is your medial arcuate ligament from where the fibers of the diaphragm will take origin. So this is the question of your exam that medial arcuate ligament is a modification of, answer is anterior part of the swas fascia. So superiorly it is thickened and it forms the medial arcuate ligament. So this is the first question and second thing is that this fascia fuse with the periosteum of the uh, L1 vertebrae. When you will see the medial attachment of the fascia, you will find that medially the bodies of lumbar vertebra and intervertebral disc. So this is what I am saying again and again that its medial attachment make this fascia unique or clinically more important. Now when you will see the lateral attachment, it fuse with the thoracolumbar fascia. Now in this diagram, you can see that where is the thoracolumbar fascia. So this is your thoracolumbar fascia and this is your anterior layer of swas fascia. So you will realize that anterior layer of swas fascia is joining with the thoracolumbar fascia which will continue with the fascia transversalis. So this is what you have to understand that this swas major muscle is not uh, is covered by tubular fascia which is upper and is closed how it merged with the periosteum and form the medial arcuate ligament the medial part is attached and closed by merging with the intervertebral disc and the uh, vertebral bodies laterally it is closed by merging with the thoracolumbar fascia and inferiorly it again go downward merge with the fascia iliaca and you will have the covering on the iliacus muscle and then you have the lower extension into the thigh along with the iliacus. So this is why the swas muscle abscess appear in the femoral triangle. So my dear friends, now we are talking about the two different concepts. First you talk about why the swas fascia is having difference or different importance than the other fascia. Now the second part is why the abscess which arises from the intervertebral disc come into the front of thigh. The only reason is that because it crosses the inguinal ligament, it enters into the front of thigh along with the iliacus and swas tendon. So this is small extension into the front of thigh with the continuity. So once the infection is present here, now that infection will enter into this tubular sheath and it will drain downward and it accumulate here into the front of thigh below the lateral side of inguinal ligament. So as the infection of intervertebral disc develops, the infection is spread centrolaterally, ultimately due to the connection of the sheath and intervertebral disc. Now this word is again and again, you have to write down always in exam and this is only the word which is the connection of the muscle and sheath with the intervertebral disc. So the infection enters into the muscle and it passes along with the muscle and the sheath. But because sheath is enclosed from all around, so the abscess will not spread into the peritoneal cavity. So it will remain inside the sheath and because of the enclosing nature of the tubular sheath, it will down under the effect of gravity. So because it is a long tubular sheath and the root of the infection is in the groin because of the gravity and it may appear as a swelling in the front of thigh. So now there is a two question which has to be always clear in your mind why the swas muscle fascia is important other than other other than the uh, any uh, muscle fascia and second thing how the swas abscess comes in the front of thigh so this is all for this class thank you